Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I am this Curvy Yogi and I am back with day 10 of my Black History Month vlogs and today I am going to be highlighting famous black artists and no I do not mean musical artists, I mean actual artists. Those who paint or sculpt or anything that produces images, pictures, photographs, oil paintings and anything of that nature and because I don't think we give enough light to actual artists. And so let's get into it. And so I am going to give a very brief rundown of each artist on this list and a little bit of their background and a few of their famous paintings or sculptures or whatever art piece they produce. And I will also link down in the description bar the links that I use to find these artists, their biographies, and a few places where you can find their paintings. And so let's start with Jean-Michel Basquiat. And he started doing graffiti in New York under the name Samo. He also started off selling sweatshirts and postcards featuring his artwork. After being featured in a group show, he received critical acclaims for his fusion of words, symbols, stick figures, and animals. His work was described as neo-expressionist. And he died in 1988. And so a few of his famous paintings are, and they're actually all not titled, so they're basically named untitled, but there are subtitles to distinguish them from one another. And so the first one is untitled, it's called Skull. And so it's basically a picture of a skull, but it also has different things encompassed in it as well. The second one is called Untitled, but it's based on the history of black people. And the third one is Untitled, but it's called Boxer. And so of course it's a picture of a boxer, but it has different things encompassed in it as well. And so next let's talk about Jacob Lawrence. Jacob Lawrence was introduced to art at the age of 13 after moving to New York with his mom. He won a scholarship to the American Artist School in New York and graduated in 1939. He is known for his narrative series that he creates and best known for his migration series. He completed the series, also known as Migration of the Negro in 1941, and it was exhibited in Edith Halpert's downtown gallery in 1942. He was drafted into the U.S. Coastal Guard and later served as the Coastal Guard artist documenting the experience of war across the world. After his duty ended, he then went on to produce his war series. And he also taught for 15 years at the University of Washington. And next is Edmonia Lewis, who was a sculptor. She was credited with being the first African-American and Native American sculptor. She attended Oberlin College in Ohio, but there she was falsely accused of poisoning two of her white classmates. She was beaten by a white mob and after she recovered, she fled to Boston. She was taught sculpture by Edward Brackett and by the 1860s she started to find success with her clay and plaster medallions. In 1864 she created a bust of Colonel Robert Shaw who was a Civil War hero and this was her most famous work to date. And the money that she earned from it allowed her to move to Rome. Her famous works include those entitled Forever Free, the Hour Maker, and The Death of Cleopatra. And last we are going to talk about James Van Der Zee, who is a photographer. He is famous for capturing the African American citizenry and celebrity. He developed a passion for photography at a young age and opened his own studio in 1916. He is highly noted for his depiction of middle class African American life and has photographed celebrities such as Florence Mills, Hazel Scott, and Adam Clayton Powell Jr. And he's also worked with a new wave of celebrities, including Bill Cosby, Lou Rawls, Cicely Tyson, and Jean-Michel Basquiat. He is a permanent fellow of the Metropolitan Museum of Art and received a Living Legacy Award from President Jimmy Carter. And he died in 1983. And so those were a few of the legendary black artists and I will link down below the places where you can find their biographies, more information on their life, and a few places where you can also find their artwork. 
and so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video remember i'll be back again tomorrow with my day number 11 vlog for black history month so i will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel also tap the bell so that you can be notified when i upload new videos Follow me on all of my socials and visit my website thiscurvyyogi.com for even more exclusive content. So I will see you guys soon.